kill them, also protect your healer and peel off them while DPS is still being affected and they're being supported. It gets oh, the crazy sale, very good. quickly. The gravity is the biggest thing because that adds so much verticality and you combine the different movement systems of each character where some characters have teleports and some characters have reactions. Plus so add this really wild and insane. Now literally every look is potentially an attack point. I am literally so under the map, yeah. saving myself from a grappling hook, whipping myself into the air, shooting at anyone below. You need to check every possible corner. People are going to fly you with jetpacks, they're going to fly at you with double swords. You're going to so have someone that my... you just get up in the sky, and all of a sudden now you have to worry about getting up there. Yeah, but, uh, there's uh, there's uh, it's like... that I just haven't yeah, seen before. Medic it was battle medic, they call Wait. it. So it's not one of those medics where you have Stream to sit back. It's not even a thing reset, anymore, uh, I'm out there slaying, killing with the rest of my team while keeping them alive. Wraith's got a really good one. With the slide and then the jump into zero G, that's great. Getting like through the map that fast is ridiculously fun. I've been using the vanguard to drift off the side. Yeah. So coming off behind the enemy. It took like three, four rounds when I caught on. With the gunslinger, uh, he's a very precision oh, character. So just slow. Spinning around and popping someone in the head. Real quick. Right in it's, and, uh, the game is just aggressive all the time. And this game gives you so much variety of motion. I Go from Nellis to Facebook. It makes you think in a in a completely different way. The fastest speed I've ever seen in my life. Crazy when you're playing it. Hmm. Just as a reminder, that Ballin Intel PC is still up for grabs. Don't Slut miss no. out if you forgot. This bad boy is running an i7 7700K processor, a lot of 7s in there, uh, and an NVIDIA GTX 1080 is worth more than $2,500. I feel like you don't use time on that. Go on like an E3 stream. Yeah, so it's the meaning that they should have quality, and that's why we see it. What do you think, Sean? Ah, PC gaming show har också varit lite snära. Lite ghetto. <laughs> ja, ja. De tränger ju sponsorer för att genomföra det och de streamar i 1080p eller vad det var. Chucklefish, the wonderful folks who helped so. bring you Stardew Valley and Starbound. Let's take a look at their upcoming game, Wargroove. Mm. De som publicerar Stardew Valley mm. och uh, Starbound. Chucklefish. Bara... Det var det sista namnet som inte var tatt. Det är det som, pop, det som varslar säkert. Får vi varsla? Vad ska jag säga? Så lite uh, Advanced Wars ut. Ja, väldigt. Kan du bli Advanced Wars? Mm. Det är Jocke nog alltså. Nej, det är kul spel. Ja, jag tycker det är gøy i två dagar, alltså. Nej, <laughs> Advance Wars var heroin för mig länge, länge, länge. Dödsbra spel. Det är kul att sätta in. Jag tycker Fire Emblem också är ganska likt det. Mm. Fire Emblem Nei, du, är kanske inte så mycket sån här map-navigation. Det är väl som uh, Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics. Ja, ja, det är det. Länge sedan jag har spelat uh, Fire Emblem. Men detta är, ja, detta är ju Advanced Wars Fire Emblem, uh, Fire Emblem har en solid, dedikerad uh, fanbase. Ja, det har den. Permadeath alltså. Mm. Don't like it. Här blir Dragons. War Groove. Today we're not just going to get a chance to talk about the game, but we will be seeing the editor in action, the live demo on stage. I'm joined by Jay Bayless and Doris Karaskotza from Chucklefish. Welcome. Ah, come on, put on some more fun. Right away, the gameplay reminded me quite a bit. It's fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, um, Fire Emblem and Advance Wars are definitely kind of inspirations of ours. You know, um, War Groove is a turn-based tactical strategy game. It's a game about starting to build up your resources every mission and push yeah. forward into your enemy territory and just kind of dominate the map and make the right choices. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of unique kind of gameplay mechanics. So we're bringing right. it into the modern age. We've got online play, uh, mod support, and kind of yeah. content creation as well. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we're going to get the chance to look at today. Doris, who's operating the PC right now, tell us what it is we're looking at. So what we're looking at today is the world map of Wargroove. 
Hast du gemacht? Ich muss mehr live gehen. Nein. Das ist ein bisschen Editor, oder? Det er en, so, kanskje det mest juicy, spennende, visuelle stimuli en det går an å ha på. Lappeditus. Litt kul grafikk, altså. Ja, da. Må si det. The cool thing with that is every can have ah. Kan vi si so at det minner litt om Monkey Island 2-kartet? Å holde temaet. Det er en vulkan der. Eller er det eneren? Nå husker jeg ikke Monkey Island. Nei, Monkey Island. Det er vulkan count. Det er eneren da du er på den døya, da du er på... Er det Boot the Island, eller? Skjøtten, vet du. Jeg fikk noe vindu med feil rør. Tja, tja, tja. Nei, men jeg synes ikke det har vært så ille det her PC Gaming Show-et. Var det ikke det i fjor? Det var mye verre i fjor. Det virket som de var mye bedre forberedt i år. Jeg tror de har fått øvd litt i år. I fjor så virket de som de tok mye på sparken. De hadde litt sånn tekniske issues, så. Ja, ta til seg feedbacken. Ja, sikkert. Litt sånn som Lord of the Streaming Show kommer alltid... Men PC Gaming Show kommer alltid... Ja da, men PC Gaming Show kommer alltid til å være sånn B-sides, fordi de store spillene er jo knyttet til de store presskonferansene. Ja. Men det er litt kult å se litt sånn småspill også, at de får litt oppmerksomhet. Så du kan bruke denne zone-tool her, og du kan highlight en area, og det er sånn som en skriptet encounter eller sekvens til det. Okay, so, you know, if I step into that forest, someone can pop out and attack me. Yeah, you could have bandits jump out and attack you from the woods. And the really cool thing that is that that actually ties back to a demonstration of a siege battle in Mountain Blade 2. Maybe that will trigger a condition maybe after encountering the bandits. Yeah, editor. Lave a card that you don't have to find more of them. Yeah. And so on. Now, Doris, what is the process to go from this map to a playable game? So, it's very simple. So. As simple as sharing the map, actually. So you can just share your map. And if you want more content, just go online and download the map, and everything is just one click. And also, I know all the symbols on the taskbar. So let me actually take a step over to this timer here. And also, I know all the symbols on the mess on the taskbar. And we have gotten the chance to design. What's more, we've seen a mail from the player that's on the right. It's incredibly fast. It must be no take it program. Yeah, sicker. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming. Okay, that was short and sweet. And they had a Windows shop, Windows store for. Ja, på hotbaren. Det var en default, en stock PC, tror jeg. Ja, det var en Chris Roberts. Kanskje. Jeg tror ikke Star Citizen har noe presence her. De har fått pengene de trenger. The next game that we get the opportunity to talk about is the sequel. To Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. It's Middle Earth Shadow Ooh. of War Ooh. that has an official War. announced release date, guys. It's October 10th. Here to talk to me about it is Michael nice. Deflater, the Vice President of Creative at Monolith. I like all the release dates on some. Thank you very much. Well, not the market. What could I say about Xbox? Yeah, well, the chair is a nice True. break from all that grueling standard, yeah. and it gives us to do one of the most <laughs> iconic things in PC gaming. Snug slush. <laughs> Thank you. Now. You, we've heard about the October 10th release date. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that have been changing and building upon uh, Shadow of Mordor in terms of Shadow of War? I think what we've tried really hard to do, although it's, it seems pretty obvious, is take the things that were good that worked in the first game, so yeah. combat and the Nemesis system and this world that we created, um, and to build on that, but also to take the lessons we learned in the first game and really improve those. So, right. Really make this into a truly um, epic fantasy that's uh, kind of up there. Oh, you right, can go and see Return of the King or Lord sure. of the Rings, and really focusing on the story and the characters as well. I mean, you've been talking all throughout about how important story is in Shadow of War. What does that mean in terms of the work? I'll spell it out. It means um, paying off the epic scale. Yeah, so it These titanic full-scale battles. It means yeah, the stakes of the story. So we're facing the most iconic. I had it for both. I had it on for both PS and Xbox. Yeah, okay. But I spelled it for. I spelled it for PS with Xbox controller. Yeah. Yeah, that was what I did. I had it for. And in terms of E3, what are the types of things? 
Jag håller på 100 procent det. Men så um, uh, blev jag stoppad av um, det kommer någon sån här DLC som heter någon sån här Beastmaster eller ett eller annat. Jag tror det var så att till och med när du inte hade köpt DLC så hade du achievement då, men du kunde inte genomföra achievement då. Så jag skulle liksom jag huskar jag måste jag skulle tror jag ska vänta på salg på DLC. Så jag slår på köpa det till full pris. Men så glömde jag av. Men så när du var på Så när du på Xbox så tror jag. Ja, säkert. Men vanligtvis brukar det att göra det så att om du inte har DLC än så har du inte achievement än. Ja, så när. Att det är lost unna på en måte. Sista brydde man med achievement så var det i alla fall sån på, på Xbox. Att det de dukade upp med en gång. Ja, jag brukar jag brukar bara 100 procent där. För jag går först så spelar bara spelar vanligt, går jag om det. Mm. Och visst jag ser att det var mangel ett par så brukar jag och kör på. Ja, det är okej. Okay. Och annars och visst jag lika spelar. Så är det ju lite morsamt. Men visst det är sån där uh, grind så gillar jag det. Visst det är kul achievements. Mm. Men liksom visst det är liksom det makes sense där, visst du känner att det är en utmaning i att vara god i spelet och uh, ta achievements där är helt fett. Well, before we hop into that, I just want to say Michael, oh, yeah. thanks so much for coming on to talk about Shadow of War. We talked about how important story is to Shadow of War, so let's take a little bit of a look at two minutes of the cinematic, Altariel meeting Talion. Two minutes. Oh, it smokes. The full script. So it is true. You killed me. And yet you live. What is that like? To die and live again? Do you feel pain? Do you suffer? What of the city? Of the Palantir? The Nazgul have taken both. They belong to the Dark Lord now. Then I have failed. I bought the big gun. Not fighting. Yep. If we are to fight Galadriel, we can recover the ring. Your rings are the cause of all this, Elf Lord. I can see him. I see him. Who are you? I am the blade of Galadriel. Since when does Galadriel work with assassins? Great threats make for unlikely alliances. You know this better than most. Now tell me more about this ring. We crafted it to defeat Sauron. But it was lost. The Nazgul will be drawn to the power of the ring. We cannot let it fall into Sauron's hands. The light of Galadriel, give it to us! Stay your hand! My light will protect us, but it will not leave my side. We must move quickly. Try to keep up. Shadow of War. As a huge fan of Shadow of Mordor, I'm really excited to see where the story goes in the sequel. Yes. And I'm pleased to say we have you one final yeah, game to mm. announce. Yeah. It's from Microsoft, and I'm not even allowed to say the name yet. Oi. So joining me to talk about what? said unnamed game huh? is a creative director from Microsoft Studios, Adam Eisgreen. Welcome, Adam. Thank you so much. Make yourself scared, Lars. Love being here. here. You are not scared. Now, Adam, um, I understand that you've been in games for a long time. I have. Um, I am coming up with my fifth year making video games. Age of Mythology. You can actually make a career out of being in games. Um, and, you know, I got my start in the DOS days. Vant är det de har? Oh, yeah, Zork, Black and white. <laughs> so, um, I got my start in the DOS games. Uh, <laughs> Role-playing games, D&D games. Um, but I spent uh, a Lynx. lot of time <laughs> making real-time strategy uh, games. So I was at Westwood mm. Studios for years. I'm back. I can't announce all now. Earth and mm. Beyond, a whole bunch of great games there. Um, Petroglyph, Universe of War, Empire War. So, a lot of history on PC, and I'm excited to get back to it. Well, I understand that this time it was not the cheese pill on Aspen Fell. Yeah. Age of Empires is Allo Age of Mythology. But I know you're curious, so let's head right in to this world exclusive trailer. Holy shitness. Oh. 
helt intressant för mig men uh, det är er en stor titel visst är er det Den är Age of Mythology mm. eller Rampers eller Rampers Det är er i så fall många som har bett om. Ja. Jag vet precis. Delicious. Ja, jag måste In 4K. 4K resolution. Ja. Det är nog galet med den gamla grafiken. Plays best ja, on Scorpio. Det är er nog galet med det. Oj, kan zooma ut. New and improved zoom. <laughs> ja. Jeg skulle spille det der på LAN i Narvik, når jeg gikk på høyskolen her. Elefant. Troops. Jeg rett og slett... Jeg er ikke liksom... Hjernen min er ikke konstruert for real-time strategy, tror jeg. Det er så stress. Helt sykt. Men jeg, 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 jeg driker meg alltid. Ja, jeg, jeg ruler i hele vårt to. <laughs> Jag tog bara 20 minuter på sån här easy mode. Jag <laughs> spelade normal mode i alla fall, jag spelade quick. Ja, ok. <laughs> Men uh, ja, det gick trekt det. Adam, Adam, Adam. Age of Empires was the first game I ever saved up my allowance to play as a kid. I'd, oh I'd weed gosh. my grandma's Come garden on. all day. She'd give me like two dollars. I'm from Sean. Still stay dedicated. Tell me about scared. Age of Empires, man. Man, you know nobody has been able to play this game except if they found the CD-ROMs for the last 20 years. Turn up the volume, Sander. I know, really. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm not. We started to play it and played it as a kid. I'm kind of younger than us now. Yeah, I'm older. For us at Microsoft and our development yeah. partner at um, Forgotten Empires. To bring back Age of Empires in such a oh, wonderful condition, yeah. so everyone can experience it. I want to talk about all the stuff we saw in the trailer, start to finish. Talk to me about the graphics. Those those sprites are huh. gorgeous. We have redone a every single dollar. asset in the original Age of Empires. Every animation. Nah, they can do one less. Nah, I'm gonna say for commentary. Age of Empires. Okay. Great, we have um, carefully and lovingly taken and made even better and better. Because I remember just watching the sprites move around in the original game. It was very blocky oh, and yeah, yeah. stuttering. I set the volume and our and our full screen. We saw that a lot. A ton of work has gone into making the game and the presentation right. amazing. What about audio? Oh yeah. My for the old sax. Okay. We recorded the entire Tuck soundtrack Thomas. to the game using an actual symphony this time. Um, it sounds wonderful. The people at the studios are constantly begging us yeah. to get the soundtrack already. <laughs> ah, son. Now I have to ask. There were some too. aspects of the gameplay back then that were a little janky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have there been any updates to the gameplay in that regard? Yes. So not only have we done things like improved Fine Path, which is, of course, always a big thing in RTS games, uh, we've gone in and actually modernized the UI. Um, a lot of people forget that original age didn't even have an idle villagers button. So all of that stuff, attack move, all of those things that have, uh, people have come to expect. Control in groups? Yes. Control yes. groups? 1A. Um, yep. So all of that stuff is all in the game now. So we've taken all of the learnings from the, yeah. the age games that followed and brought it up to those standards. And you know, in, in, speaking of do, modernization, do, 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 I saw do, do, do. that Xbox Live multiplayer, mm-hmm. which uh, as you may or may not know, that is the online matchmaking service that Microsoft yep. uses for PC games. I mean, uh, how are you utilizing that? Oh, well, we've completely redone how lobbies work and how games and matching works. You know, we have our friend uh-huh. system, of course, it's built into Xbox. Uh, so players can go spisa, skulle spisa nå med dig att på. So they can go and see the progress and see the results. Stimmen må förslå. So it should be a really good one. Yes. Eh, blir det fjolan eller blir det vad där du har anbefalt. Uh... Men vi har ju väldigt begränsat med tid. Så det här var ju fan mig. Um, you know, RTS yeah, well, you know, multiplayer is so important. We can meet us online again in three quarters. The absolute best we can make. You better go to the off online. Play with us, make the game. Record a half time or just do the same art, and so it's on again. Should I have a grand? Yeah, sure. Sure. I'm going to be clear now. Should I be better than that? What is it you wanted to say? Do it. Yes, Age of Empires, the whole. I'm going to hold it for that. It's hitting its 20 mark in October of this year. Four times espresso machine. Is it? We are finished with Ubisoft. The start of the celebration of 20 years of Age of Empires. And 
That party is going to roll. We're going to continue. Jag tror jag bara säger lite mycket helt. Målgrupp av mig. Äh, inte man heller. Det är inte målgrupp av mig. Men det är ju liksom en sån här bastion. Det är en sån här bastion. Det är en sån här bastion. Det är en sån här bastion. Thomas får slå ett chicken dinner. Battlegrounds referenser. Well, let me just say, Adam, thank you so much for coming out. Super excited about Age of Empires. Tack, Adam. Thank you so much. And with that, our slew of announcements comes to an end. Before we depart, let's head back up to the mezzanine with Sonia for one last hello. Thank you, Sean. I had an amazing time being a part of some awesome game reveals and kicking it with you guys today. If you want any more information on any of the games that you saw today, go to PCGamer.com. If you want to hang out with me and check me out on the internet, at OMG, it's Firefox pretty much everywhere. I had a blast, and for one last time, Streamer også, de klarer ikke å være med og... Eller promotering. Ja, det er helt godt. It was a blast. I hope you had a great time. Thank you all so much for coming out. All of you who braved LA traffic to be here in the morning. All of you who tuned in online. Thanks to our sponsors, Intel, Microsoft, Bohemia, Tripwire, Psy Games, and Nexon for help making this event possible. It yes, is an Mixer, I think this. Or Mixer, a partner. Or Xbox. I'd also like to give a shout Xbox. out to all the developers mm. and the publishers at their recent conferences that have been going on in the last week. We were super excited about the titles there and following them closely because we're gamers. Oh, really? Jag skulle likt att se lite mer om Mountain Blade 2 och kanske en release datum men ja, men det kan komma yeah. ting uh, det kan komma ting eller bara nästa. Ja. So we hope that you get the chance to get your hands on some of the titles that were announced in the last week that you're mm. pumped for. From all the folks at PC Gamer and from me Day 9, have a wonderful day and go play some video games. We'll see you next year. Yeah. All right. All right. Hurra. Ja, vi med det. Det var chockerande så uh, Stabil... Uh, Stabil er et bra ord. Ja. ja. Stabilt uh, sånn tre på terningen for min del. Ja. Det var litt, uh, det var litt kjedelig titler. Altså, det var et par kule der, men... Ja. Jeg gleder... Uh, XCOM 2 Expansion, det er to tommel opp. Jo, men det er liksom... Det er sånn jeg kunne sett som uh, frokosten på uh, YouTube, liksom sånn... Åh, det kommer en trailer. Ja, kul. Mm. Det, det er liksom ikke sånn her... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, jeg må sjekke klokka syv i kveld, for da skal jeg se traileren på XCOM 2, liksom. Eller XCOM 2. Ja, ja. Ehm... Um, Ferdig! Det var kult at de hadde Age of Empires da. Folk har jo mast på det spillet i... Ja, endelig. Nå uh, slipper jeg mase på det. Ja. Uh! Uh! Ja vel, nei men uh, tar vi en, uh... det veldig, veldig bra. 27. Hva synes du om uh, Intel-delen, uh, uh, Lars? Det var den beste. Beste det var den beste, ja. Enig. Ja. Nei. Jeg likte at de, i hvert fall hadde en uh, fyr som sa at Destiny 2 på PC kommer til å bli dritt bra. For da kan jeg klage på han hvis det ikke er det. Han er teft, teft i teft. Ja. En uh, streamer som sikkert ikke... Uh, på masse penger. Jeg får tilsendt masse greier fra, fra det, eller fra... Uh, fra Activision hele tiden. Det er den EA, det er den EA, for så vidt. Hva sier du? Han vet om det sier bedre enn EA. Jeg synes ikke det var bedre enn EA. Jeg synes EA var mye bedre. Du har jo jobbet for Electronic Arts, så det, du er litt innabil. Jeg har faktisk det. Det, det er faktisk sant. I uh, to, 2002 eller 3 så oversatte jeg The Sims uh, alle expansionsene og hovedspillet opp til Odden Holiday. Nice. Mm. Og det var Electronic Arts som var publisher, men vi var hos uh, Maxis i San Francisco i året da. Så det var ok. Jeg snakket ikke med så mye av folk utover det. Så ikke yes. på meg. Jeg tar uh, fullstendig i lomma på EA på grunn av mitt ja. 14 år gamle Uh, en gangs arbeidsoppdrag. Og da ble vi enige om at jeg fra da skulle gi tommel opp til alle presskonferanser på E3 for EA. For all ja. overskuelig fremtid. For meg er det så glad at det er Destiny på PS, to på PS. Ja. Det skjønner jeg godt. Ja, det er helt enig. Det, det er en av de PS-titlene jeg gleder meg mest til nå i, nå i høst. Det var nå i høst. Jeg ville ikke, jeg ville ikke gitt noe release date til PS, men... Det, Nei, det har det ikke. Blir... Nei, riktig. Ja. Jeg går ut for at det blir... Blir det ikke samtidig? Nei, Nei det blir litt etter. Mm. Ja. Men jeg håper det ikke blir for mye etter. Men ja. Uh, ja. Men uh, alt sikkert. i alt, alle var enige om at det hadde vært en fin presskonferanse. Ja. Uh, ja. Skal vi uh, 
Det er tilbake klokka 22, eller litt før. Ja, vi er allerede tilbake om en cirka en time. Så er vi online igjen, så da er det Ubisoft som skal i... Ubi. Da blir det French. Jeg lurer på om vi skal vise det der Mario Rabbids-spillet, for eksempel. Det er interessant å se. Eller om det blir spart til Nintendo-presskonferansen. Teamet vil shove, som blodstruppmoden sier. Vi ses alle sammen om en drøy time. Ha det bra.